G'day everyone and welcome to your Friday footy feed. Well, Collingwood's Marley Williams won't play at all before being sentenced in April. Convicted of grievous bodily harm by a West Australian court, he's now left the Magpies training camp on the Gold Coast. He will continue to train with the club though and be supported by his teammates over the next couple of months. But Nick Maxwell says Williams needed a break. Just, just to give him, get him away from here, give him... Um, get his head clear uh, rather than being here training with us flat out. Um, obviously it's been tough for him as well. Um, he's spent the uh, last couple of weeks, it's been, been hard for him and long days so just want to give him a bit of a break on it all. Defender Alan Tuvey is set to make his comeback from a knee reconstruction in Sunday's practice match while Gary Ablett won't play for the Suns. Meanwhile Maxwell has opened up about his part in the sickening injury to young cat George Burberry who suffered a fractured jaw in the NAB Challenge opener. He's a tough kid and obviously I felt sick when it, when it happened because I knew how bad it was but um, look I just sent him a text and said good luck with it all and, and hopefully obviously it was an accident hopefully you have a quick recovery because uh, from all reports he's got a big future ahead of him. Burberry is hopeful of being available for selection by round two. Troubled ex-demon Liam Jarra has revealed he wants to rekindle his AFL dream after catching up with his former teammates in Alice Springs. Jarra still has some legal issues to face in the Northern Territory, but he looked in good spirits as these AFL media photos show. His former teammates clearly pleased to catch up with him. The 25-year-old knows returning to the big time will be tough. It's going to be hard, hard to get back into AFL, so it's going to take a lot of hard work to get back into it. So that's the dream? Yeah, that's my dream. So it's hopefully I, I can do that again. The Demons play Geelong in Alice Springs tonight. Playing in his first game for the Swans, Lance Franklin struggled last night. He had just five kicks and one handball, but it was interesting to see how John Longmire used his star recruit, moving Buddy up the ground. Particularly when the ball wasn't getting down there, we sort of, uh, it's a bit hard to get miles on your legs if you're not actually the ball's not coming your way. So we put, put him further up the ground on the wing at different times. Luke Parker was taken to hospital with an eye injury. The club is hopeful he'll be right for round one. West Coast beat the Swans by 35 points. As the AFL looks to finalise its charter, locking in key aspects of our game forever, the tradition of the centre bounce is seemingly safe. Or is it? The centre bounce is very protected for this year and I'm assuming it will be for years to come. Uh, I think it's a part of our game that people like seeing, particularly the start of a big game, the start of a quarter, and at the moment uh, after goals. You can watch our full interview with Mark Evans here online. An AFL Players Association boss, Matt Finnis, has emerged as a candidate for the vacant St Kilda Chief Executive's role. It's been taking him a while, that one. It's going to be interesting to see if that's the way they go. Watch this space. That is your footy feed for a Friday and indeed the week. From all the team here at afl.com.au. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt Thompson. Have a great weekend.